Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at SD Gundam Fighter. And this is a free-to-play kind of uh, third-person shooter robot uh, MMORPG based on the anime series SD Gundam. So let's get started. As you can see, I kind of already went through the tutorial. It's really kind of weird. I logged into the game and wanted to kind of get a feel for the game. And it just drops you right into the tutorial. And by the time I kind of knew what was going on, I was halfway through it. So you guys aren't going to be able to see that. I could go back and show it to you again. I'm not going to do that. It's really basic and simple. It essentially shows you how to move around, which is basically with WASD, some of the different things like that. Right now we're going to jump into a mission. As you can see, you've got co-op missions here. You had single missions. Like I said, I could go back and do the tutorial. You also have training mode. Um, you do quick start. Everything, as you can see, is lobby based. So you can go in. You can you can jump into the lobby. You can jump into some of these games. Now, unfortunately, you see there's not a ton of games going on here, and they are maxed out at four. So the game doesn't have a lot of people playing the game, um, which is unfortunate because it's actually kind of fun. But it's one of those things where just some games don't get a lot of legs. Now you can see you do have quests that you can go through, and you can see I went through all the recruiter quests, and then you've got private private first class, so on and so forth. So you do have all these different ranks and as you earn those different ranks, you're gonna have different quests associated with that. So you see I've got quest number one, SC rank unit assignment, which is basically very simple. This is your quest number one for your first S rank unit. Select a single mission tab and from the missions channel, clear a ground battle and easy. So they're really quite simple. So I'm actually going to jump into a match, not just yet, I'll get in there in a second. They see some random guy out there and they really want because they want to fill up these matches. But we're going to get into that in a second. So you've got messages, you've got storage, you've got my info. Then you've also got capsules. So we're going to go into capsules and essentially what happens is you get these capsules. You could draw a capsule. You can also see different capsule machines and they have different point totals and what it costs to actually get those different types of capsules. And you can earn these different types of capsules. And the each individual capsules will have different weapons and different items for you to use whether you're in a uh, co-op battle or you're in a uh, PvP battle all of that good jazz so worth it to start working your way up and collect the points and then be able to earn the different the different capsules now of course you can also buy Astro and jump right through some hoops and pick up some uh, some uh, some capsules that way as well but let's go ahead and jump into a game let's do a quick start see where it drops us hopefully destroy a moon or whatever so we're actually going to destroy psycho so we're in a room let's f5 and hit ready right there so we're ready to go i hit uh, i hit the button but let's go ahead and hit f5 so you can see some of the cool capsules that these guys have you can see me and this guy we won the same capsule from from our little uh <coughs> our little adventure there you can also do a little emoticon and say all right we're ready to go there we go. Now we're ready to go. So now we can jump in. And this guy's probably going to do most of the work for us, seeing that he's uh, he's pretty pretty badass right there. So let's see here. These guys are are working on getting us going. Come on now. Let's rock and roll. Nah, let's just go with what you have. So. And you can go in here and that's the change right here. So we can go into change and actually change our SD Gundam. So we can, uh, if you have a whole bunch of different uh, capsules, then you can change. Like you see, he just changed into this one right here. But it's really kind of cool, all the different ones that you have. Uh, and then and then each individual one you actually level up so you can see right here I got to level this one up anyways so you can level up the individual capsules and, and Gundams that you that you actually pick up so as you progress through the game and you get more of them you're gonna want to process through so let's go come on dude let's get these yep uh-huh 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 let's get going so I want to show you guys some of the gameplay but as you can see, I move around WASD. Now, obviously, I can't move the camera around right now, but once we get into the game, I'll be able to move the camera around. You'll also be able to see me. I can't right now uh, do any boosting, which you'll be able to see me you double, basically just double tap in the direction that you want to go, and you're able to boost and move around much more quickly. This is going to take forever. These guys, just go. Come on. These guys know I'm trying to record a video and show more of the gameplay. I'm really, really tempted to pause it. <laughs> really tempted. So, but you see right here, you can actually change your settings directly in when you're right into a match. You can also see the number of points. <clears throat> you saw that it was going to cost 1,600 for a new capsule. I have 600 right now. Every single time that you go into a match, you're going to earn those. So it's 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 a great way to 
kind of keep things on a balanced level where it's not necessarily pay to play, but you can also uh, earn a lot of the same points and earn the same different uh, different capsules by just playing the game. So let's go. Let's see if we can't uh, can't push these guys to start in the game. All right, great. Now you guys are in the same one. You're going to do all the damage and you're going to take all the points. Great. And they kicked him from the room. They're probably going to kick me from the room now. All right. Come on, guys. Or I'm leaving. This is taking far longer than it should have. And you can see right here what mission we're on, Mission Server Training Channel 1. So you do have some different different tr channels that you can go into, but right now you don't really need to because the game has so few players anyways. So you're not really gonna you're not really gonna spend a lot of time on the in the different channels. So let's see if we can get going. Alright, great. Sweet. Now we have four players, so let's go. Come on guys. Alright, I am pausing this and I will come back as soon as we are in the game. Alright, there we go. So we're finally into the game. We're getting a little cutscene to get started. Mission started. We're going to drop in here. And there we go. We're off. And see, you use the space bar to kind of fly around. And then we've got all of these different guys coming in. And I'm not going to get too many kills because these guys are going to do the majority of the damage. And we, we, can use, we can use our booster to kind of boost around and fly around in different areas. We can also use it to zoom much faster. We can do this in every, in every direction as well. We can do this forward, we can do it backwards, we can do it side to side to dodge, and all of that good stuff. So we took out that guy, now we got some guys on the ground, we got these guys up here. We'll shoot this guy from behind. And of course he flies away, so now we missed him. Now you can lock in on these guys. You can hold down right click and it will lock in on them. And then you can shoot them that way. If you hold down right click, it will lock in on the nearest fighter that, you, uh, that you're that you closest to. So there we go. Let's take some more of these guys out here. So basically what we need to do in this mission is take all these guys out within a certain amount of time. And that's the one thing I can tell you that sucks is when you, when you get kind of targeted by one of these guys and you're they're locked in on you and they're in melee combat you pretty much cannot get out of it they're just going to take and they're just going to wail away on you so you, you have to uh you have to kind of learn to keep moving around keep jumping around keep forward facing on all these guys let's actually switch, switch weapons here so i'm going to switch to this machine gun and I can take and start, start launching a little little machine gun action on these guys. But it does a lot less damage. So as you can see, every time I hit, I'm down out of bullets. So now I need to switch. Now it'll automatically reload over time. So we need to take and just keep moving around. And then, like I said, that weapon will reload. Let's get out of here. Ugh. These guys are behind me, hitting me, locking me down. One thing that I don't like, oh, I got, I died. But it's cool because when you die, you just respawn and you jump right back into the action. I've got six kills so far, and I've got a total of six lives left, it looks like. So let's let's, let's see if we can take this guy out. There we go. Sector clear, even though there's a bad guy right there. So mission completed. So just as easy as that, we completed the mission. Sector clear. And you can see, here come my stats. So win, rare capsule times five fast. So please check your storage. You can see I leveled up because of all the experience I got, and I got some items. I got 109 points and all that good stuff. All right, so the game crashed on me, so we're back in here. Got back loaded up. Unfortunately, with Fraps, you know, that sometimes happens. So as you can see, we're in the different uh, modes and menu options. We've got a couple of different things. We've got the clan mode, so you can join a clan and get groups of people, jump into clan mode. I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm not in a clan. Then you've got the room menu, which will display all the different rooms that you have available to you. My room, the capsule room, the shopping room, the emblem. So we can go into the capsule room right now. 
You can see all the different capsules and stuff like we saw before. Then we've got My Room, which has the unit, the operator, the battle item, and then Other, which is a rare capsule, which I was actually trying to open this earlier. It's a rare capsule. It can award a rare unit, but has a low probability. All right, great. So open it. I don't know why it's not opening. Maybe one of you guys can tell me why it's not opening. So I don't know why. Maybe, like I said, one of you guys can tell me. Then you can go into VS mode, which is versus mode. Uh, essentially, this is your PvP. I can't go in there. I'm not high enough rank yet. I've got to work my way through the private uh, classes and then get myself all the way to private first class, which doesn't take too long, but it still takes a little bit, so I'm not there yet. So we got to go back into mission mode, and let's go into training channel one. And you can see here you've got a bunch of different games going on. Not too many, like I said, but a bunch. Now we can either go into another co-op mission or we can go into a single mission. We can go into tutorial training mode. I'm actually going to go into a single mission real quick, show you guys a single ground mission. You can also do a space mission where you're out in space, but let's go ahead and jump in there on easy and come knock this out real quick. So there we go. I got us into the mission this time before I actually started recording. So this time it, it, I should be able to show you guys the full mission and we need to keep taking these guys out so they don't take out the, uh, the, little, the little strike Gundam that I'm protecting and we need to... Uh, keep these guys kind of at bay. One of the difficult things with the game that I found is when you start to, some of you see these guys with the axes, when they start wailing on you, you really cannot get away from them wailing on you. They'll just, they'll start hitting you and you kind of almost get like stun locked. So it's best to, uh, to try and keep yourself at a little bit of a distance. Now that sector's clear, so here we move on to the next sector. And with this, you'll see we've got to take some of these guys out, but we cannot, you cannot hit them unless we're in range. And to be in range, you have to see that little green square around my, uh, my targeting. So let's take this guy out. So he's changing, changing to his melee weapon nice and quickly and knocking me out. So there's another guy there. One more shot should take him out. We're up to 20 now. And then we've got to get over here to these guys. Take these uh, these snake heads out that are firing at us. But it's kind of cool that you've got this nice variety of, of ground and, and uh, ground units coming at you. And unfortunately, it wasn't close enough there. So, of course, I missed. So, take that guy out here. So, let's zoom over this way. And, of course, I'm, I'm using the very beginning unit. So... I'm getting wailed on a little bit more than, I, than I'd like to, but that's all right. We'll take this guy out with one more shot. And there was another guy. I saw him floating by. He might come over the top. There we go. Take him out. We've got this snake guy over here to take out the Gundam head. There we go. We've got 30 units taken out and sector clear. Now this last section will cruise us around kind of through these, these little sectors, and we're going to be able to uh, fire on these guys from above. Now they're going to keep moving around so they get to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it shouldn't be too hard. Take it out. There we go. Take that guy out. Let's zoom around this way. And you can see, uh, like I said, you kind of have you have a limited amount of boost, so you got to you got to be careful and, and use that right when you need it, so you don't uh, you aren't exhausted when you kind of uh, need to use it to to get out of the way of certain things or or or, or to get to different places much more quickly. So we're going to switch over to our sword, use our sword to destroy this this portal or this wall, whatever, this gate, I guess you'd call it. It's porkalus. So come on, a couple more, couple more hits and it should go down. Switch weapons real quick, take this guy out. Take, take this one out. And there we go. Keep working on these guys, get him out. And we've taken some damage, so we'll get some health up. And let's boost around this corner fire on this guy. Now, now when, when, you, when you are boosting, you may notice I'll be boosting, I'll boost, and then once I take and I, I fire, or I, I shoot at something, I'm not, my boost kind of turns off. You'll also notice that when I'm hitting things from behind, they're actually taking critical hits. So there is, like that one right there, so there is a reason to, uh, to actually take and hit these guys from behind if possible. Try and shoot through this wall. Nope, not going to happen. So let's just take it out. And once we get through there, we can take that guy out. You can see in the top left-hand corner where my hit points and stuff like that are. It's also showing my special, which is available right now. But I'm going to wait until I get to the boss, because there's kind of a boss battle here at the end of this 
this little corridor. And once we get there, I'm going to use that boss battle. And it's pretty cool because you get a nice little animation that goes along with it. Let's take that guy out like that. And there we go. And then we'll fire on this once and then we'll use our melee weapon to take that out. And let's head around this corner using our boost. Maybe a couple guys over here. Fire on him. That guy. There we go. Take him out. And you keep, I keep seeing them showing guard. Now, I don't know how to guard. Maybe one of you guys know how to guard, but I don't know how to actually guard. So, it'd be nice to know how to guard, because like I said, right now it just seems like when I'm in when I'm in melee combat, I'm just getting wailed on the entire time. and kind of like stun lock, so I can't do anything. So, come on. Let's take that wall out. Fire on this. Get in. Get all this stuff and get get this party started so we're going to switch over to our special he's going to come in nice and close and then we're going to wail on him with our special like i said you get a pretty awesome animation it basically just runs through all the ammunition that you have with all your different weapons so get another shot in on him get some more on that way i kind of like this machine gun weapon Ah. Railing away on him. No bullets. And that's another thing that you may be noticing while I'm firing on these guys. You don't actually have to, uh, if they're moving, you don't have to lead them as much as you think. You kind of, uh, you pretty much aim right where they're at and you hit them. Come on. Get them over here. There we go. Quick taking them out. All sectors clear. Good job. Mission complete. Let's hope that this doesn't crash this time because I want to hopefully show you guys all of the unit info, the battle info, so you can see all the different things you get. A little bit of experience, not too much when doing these single missions. Points obtained, very, very few. All right, well, the game crashed on me again. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Do not forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. Please like these videos, we really do appreciate that. And lastly, anybody that does play the game, if we missed anything or you wish we would have covered something, please comment and let us know what, what you think. If you'd like to play or learn more about SD Gundam Online, or SD Gundam Fighter Online, sorry, you can read our full review at MMODen.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.